Welcome Pisces, I'm back with another video for the month of August. If you are new to my channel, go ahead and click the bell to subscribe. Um, make sure that you guys leave a comment in the comment section below if this message does happen to resonate with you. And don't forget to like, share, and comment. Oh, I already said that. <laughs> like and share with your family and your friends. All right, so let's talk about August. I do have some messages here. And I want to talk about this, Pisces, because at the bottom of the deck, we got the crumbling. Okay, so this is pretty much similar to the tower card. Okay, so this is saying, what are you clinging on to? What needs to be broken down and rebuilt? If there's something that you're holding on to, um, but the, the crumbling is the tower card, okay? So there's just things happening out of the blue all of a sudden. Um, but there's something that you could possibly be clinging on to. I also have awakening. This is also like an energetic upgrade, a new way of being. And I also have mirror who or what is triggering you. And I also have dance with life. So do something to change your energy. All right. So there's definitely possibly has been like a tower moment. Um, and there's something that you need to possibly do to shift the energy. Okay. Something possibly happens out of the blue all of a sudden. Um, and you're trying to dance with life or you need to find a way to dance with life. Okay. Um, something is triggering you and possibly causing an awakening as well. I'm getting that as well too. So let's talk about it. Let's see what we get in the tarot guys. Let's see what we get for Pisces. This is for Sun, Moon, and Rising and Venus. So if you have Pisces anywhere in those placements, you can apply this message. This is a general read, so it will not, it cannot resonate with every single Pisces, okay? Um, take what applies and let the rest fly. So let's hop into August, all right? Oh, yeah, if you guys want to book a personal reading with me, guys, that information is in the drop box below, as well as check out the merch that we have. Um, it's below the video. All right, so as well, guys, I'm doing a money train um, ritual, so if you would like to join in on that, contact me via email, and I can get you the details to get you signed up. All right, so August. Nine of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. So something is worrying you. Something is like constantly on your mind. We got the Ten of Swords. Okay, so this is an ending. This is an ending. This is, um, I'm getting like you're trying to stop worrying about something. Or you're done worrying about something. I'm getting like seven of wands energy. This is like standing your ground type energy. I feel like you're saying something. You're communicating something. You feel like you need to stand your ground. And then you feel like I'm, you know, you're done worrying about it. With the Ten of Swords, that's definitely like an ending. So let's see what we got. I have the strength card, Leo's energy, the ace of wands, more fire energy. I got the emperor, lots of fire energy here. I'm getting very strong, dominant energy. The star card, Aquarius's energy, eight of pentacles, for past energy. 
and the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Eight of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You're very confident about something. You're confident about something. There's possibly like a new idea. Um, Ace of Wands is very much so fire energy, but this is passion. This is as well as, uh, you know, a, a spark of interest. The Emperor, Aries is energy, but nonetheless, could be a male or older male. Could be a Leo. Could be that he's a Leo or an Aquarius. What's the strength card here? I'm getting like ego. Why is the strength card here? Two of Wands. So that's planning. Yeah, it looks like you're making plans for the future. You're confident in those plans. Why is the Emperor here? Five of Cups. Okay, maybe you regret waiting so long. I'm getting that there is like an extensive a, a period of time. Cause I'm getting time. I'm he, I'm seeing like something. You're on a time limit. Seven of Pentacles and a Two of Wands. Like it's like you regret waiting so long, especially here with this Knight of Pentacles. We know the Knight of Pentacles is slow paced energy. Um, so maybe like you regret taking so long um i'm getting like bossing up like i'm getting like planning ahead okay ace of wands there's this new something here why is this ace of wands here justice libra's energy why is justice here Page of Pentacles. Some of y'all are uh, planning on writing a book. I see that very much so. I'm getting like, uh, you're planning something big. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Yeah, there's the idea. The King of Swords and the Sun card. Maybe this is something that you thought about, okay? You thought about this in the past. Yeah, I'm getting like, for some of you, like you want to be an author or something to that nature. But it's something big, okay? And you got high hopes for this, okay? The star card here, like you want to be a star. Why is the star card here? Hermit. Yeah. You're looking for the bag. Ten of Pentacles. Hermit. Ten of Pentacles. You got high hopes for this. Like, you got high hopes. You got high hopes. And we got the judgment. This is an awakening, of a big wake-up call. You've been keeping this close to you. Like, this is something that you've been thinking about for a while. The Eight of Pentacles. Maybe you, in the past, you started working on it. The Magician. Like, you're trying to manifest... You're trying to manifest this. Oh, you're not listening to what nobody got to say. You're going to do this, okay? We got the Eight of Wands, the Nine of Wands, Two of Swords. You ain't listening to what nobody got to say. You ain't listening to no naysayers, none of that. You're going to make this happen. There's this new idea like this... Ace of Wands is definitely like there's this this new spark, something that you're passionate about. Um, you're trying to make this happen. King of Cups, future energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, possibly a male. Yeah, see, like things are going to go in your favor. Will of Fortune, Ten of Cups, yeah. But you already knew this. Okay, with the high priestess, you already knew. You already knew what was up. Okay, see, yeah, you've been talking about this 
You done been talking about this before. Six of Cups and the Eight of Wands. This is something that you done already been talking about. You done been already talking about this. And it looks like most definitely you're going to be happy because it looks like it's going to manifest for you and go in your favor. Will of Fortune is the universe conspiring in your favor. The Ten of Cups is you being happy. That's emotional fulfillment. Okay. Two of Cups here. You're feeling... Um, Why is the two of cups here? It's tower. Okay. King of the tower and the two of cups. We got the devil and the five of pentacles. Knight of cups. I feel like there's a, there was the ending here. There was a complete ending. Somebody backstabbed, betrayed somebody. Ten of swords and a death card. There was an ending. There's something that you didn't speak about or didn't talk about with the knight of cups. Five of Pentacles and the Devil. Okay, why is the Tower here? And see, the Tower is this clinging. Okay, so there's something that you could be clinging on to. It could be a relationship that you're clinging on to with the Two of Cups here. So remember, we started off with this energy. This was at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Why is the Tower here? Queen of Cups, you guys' energy. Maybe some of you are, um, yeah, like Five of Swords, the Empress, the Nine of Pentacles. I'm getting a glow up, too. Somebody jealous of your glow up. Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. That's some real bad bitch. <laughs> That's some real baddie energy right there. Five of Swords. Someone could be jealous, Okay. Why is the Queen of Cups? They gonna, they gonna, uh, they, you're gonna be recognized. Like, I'm getting like a glow up. Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Two of Pentacles, and the Empress, and the Ace of Pentacles again, and the High Priestess. Like, you know your worth. You know your worth. We got the High Priestess and the Ace of Pentacles and the Empress. Like, you know your worth. You know your worth. Six of Wands, everybody else looking at you as you're successful. And you did something. Um, and you're getting recognized for it. Six of Wands is being recognized. Okay? Some of y'all, some these people know your struggle or know something about you, like they know because I got the high priestess and the five of swords. Okay, um, this is very like secretive energy as well, too. You might have like a little sneak this, I'm getting that as well, too. But from what I'm also seeing, is they're viewing you as being successful and being recognized. But with the five of swords, that, that lets me know that there's like a background story and a, possibly like a struggle of some sort. Why is the high priestess here? Four of wands. Okay. This could be your family. Okay. This could be your family. This could be your family. Um, somebody sees that you're, you're working on your inner peace or trying to heal three of pentacles and the temperance. So somebody's like, um, they see you as like working on yourself, working on a book. I'm telling you, like, I'm getting like some of y'all like going to get ready to be an author or something to that nature. I'm getting author really, like I'm getting a book being published. The Knight of Wands is your hopes and fears. And the Knight of Wands and the Seven of Swords, are you afraid that you're going to get it? schemed or hustled um something to that nature knight of wands and seven swords is definitely a player so you're afraid to get played but i see you keeping your eye open you're watching somebody who got to pay the swords that's a spy okay so we gotta okay empress you could be uh there's some some somebody that's watching you or you're watching somebody okay why is the empress here knight of pentacles Eight of Cups. Why 
I'm getting that somebody feel like they missed out on something good. King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I feel like somebody, I keep, the lover's card keeps wanting to come out and jump out for you. Could be a Gemini. But I'm getting like somebody wants, I'm getting like somebody is telling you that, that they love you or you were waiting for somebody to tell you this, tell you this, or somebody's waiting for you to tell them that. But I'm getting like, you're either watching someone or someone is watching you. But I'm getting like somebody feel like they missed out on something good with the Eight of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Like, somebody missed the opportunity. I'm getting like, you done glue up. You done glowed up. Somebody's giving somebody some money, too. Or possibly you find out that somebody is giving somebody money. Okay. Why is the Ace of Swords here? You've been waiting a long time to get this information. So it looks like some information is getting ready to come out about someone. Possibly that you've been watching. In, um, that you've been watching. But I'm feeling like you guys aren't really focused on that. I feel like you guys are getting ready to go into some creative endeavor. Um, and whatever it is, I feel like it's star quality, like whatever vision you see, I'm getting a bigger vision. Okay. Cause especially with this hermit card and the star card, like I'm getting like, this is something deep. This is something real deep. Okay. Like a journey, a spiritual journey. Some of y'all are on a, on a spiritual journey and you're possibly documenting your spiritual journey or something to that nature, but I'm getting like. The is a, a bigger picture here. Like you guys are going after something big. It's going to shock some people. Um, but I feel like you guys are headed in a good direction. All right. So y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. All right. I'll chat with y'all later.